Hi there, I'm Austin Wolleman from the Jack Quartet um, here in Octavan Audio in Mount Vernon, New York, where we're recording some John Zorn this week. And it made me think a lot about being here and <laughs> talking about George Crumb. It made me think about how certain composers have taken sounds of the early 20th century and really continued a tradition in a very American and, and like broadly kind of Catholic sense of taking on music uh, from different cultures and different moments into a really well-defined style. Uh, John Zorn does that, and I also think George Crumb does that, especially how he's continued the harmonies and uh, harmonic language of Bartok and moved forward into this space where he can include the most amazing magical sounds that instruments can make. So for me, growing up, hearing... Black Angels, soon after I heard the Bartok Quartets for the first time, it's always felt related to me. It was never a fully shocking new music universe to hear Crumb. It's always been a continuation of the 20th century and a rich kind of relationship with the string quartet tradition. Uh, Black Angels also, I think, embraces a very modern mindset in terms of its responsibility to and a relationship to the society it was written in. The piece is about uh, a time when America is racked with uh, the throes of kind of horror and guilt and uh, just a real uh, problem with the war in Vietnam. Unfortunately, that's a problem that has been ongoing and continues to this day uh, of America being involved in imperial war around the world. So this piece continues to grow as the story of America keeps being written. I think as American music, as American sounds that relate to this American experience of the second half of the 20th century, there's a very rich way it can relate to our lives and what we've seen.